one other question. Um, compared to this rover compared to the M and the R rovers, has there been anything done differently with the mobility system on this one to avoid some of the problems that the and the R rovers had? The long we see on the mobility system here is uh, developed from or around the universe, and it's the uh, six, six wheel drive longer mobility system. But well, that's the same. Uh, we have made some changes this time around, mostly because of the Atlantic. But it's a whole new way of using the mobility system. And so we've had to use um, some supposed maintenance systems. Like, you know, we're looking down. A little background on what it's like to work here. Absolutely. It's both fun and hard. As you can imagine, building something that's going to go to Mars is uh, very fun, very exciting, but it also obviously has its challenges. Anytime you're doing something for the first time, it's technologically challenging to send you a new vehicle to Mars. It can be very stressful at times, but ultimately it's very rewarding. And here we are in the final stages, just a few months away from launch, so we're all getting very excited as we finally close out our vehicle and get ready for that launch date. Pyro, bam, 35 volts up to about 70 amps for for an hour. That 70 amp hour battery. We lit those off. Did some testing with them. It was just amazing how long. I mean, it powers the whole descent stage when we go down in actually yeah. during EDL. And what are those called again? Uh, thermal batteries. Thermal batteries. Uh, not a very technical term, but uh, yeah, thermal batteries. They, Produce all their energy because of chemical reactions inside the battery. Thank you guys. Hello there. 